In this video, we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Vamp. We're going to unpack and assemble it, then review the vehicle, and then do some jump and crash tests. So I just got my vamp in, so let's open it up and see, see how it comes packed, see how everything looks. I know a lot of people have gotten theirs already. Wow, they don't put like any packing in at all. I guess it's in there just for flavor wouldn't keep it from bouncing around but if you care about packaging it looks like it it came through really nice man this is big it's like a lot bigger than than i thought it would be it's awesome that you can see the guy that um you know the figure the clutch is like right there in a window that's really neat they didn't fake it the uh i wish this was a painting though the photography yeah, I guess it's cheaper, easier for them, but I wish it was a painting, like the traditional boxes. And then the back, it's got some cool details on it. You, know, you can see all the parts that come with it, but let's bust it open and see what we got. So, the Exacto. Pull all this stuff out. Man, it is like the original vamp. Like, I guess you got to assemble it. Although I think it looks like you just have to put the wheels on. Box. And then, wow. It's like one of those like crate kind of things. Directions. Seems pretty simple. Let's see. There's our guy. Looks pretty good. Come on. Good thing these pistols bend so you can get them out of there. Also, it's a little cold out, so this might be a little bit cold. Looks cool, though. I don't know if that's the same helmet that came with the... Um, you know, like the ram cycle but it's pretty good put his pistol into the holster that's nice feels real snug he looks really good like he's got that that cool kind of like utility belt kind of thing on the side helmets on pretty good a little loose but not too bad let's get the vamp out though okay wow it's pretty big Whoop. <laughs> Let's not break it. Let's see, I think this is all throwaway. Back. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. It feels really good. It feels really solid. It's wrapped really nicely, too. I guess they just don't want it to get scratched up or, you know, damaged in any way. And no tape. It's just kind of that, like static kind of cling wrap kind of thing going on and then there we go wow i love i love that it's not stickers that all this is on there yeah that's really nice it's got a good weight to it man that feels it doesn't feel like a hollow toy which i guess it's not these things. I wasn't a fan of these, but I guess that's pretty cool. It's got some kind of shocks in it. They're real simple. You know, it's probably just a spring in there, but uh, but pretty neat. Wow, that is, that's pretty awesome. Pretty nice looking. Let's see. So we got the vamp, we got clutch, and then we've got these wheel boxes. These are like taped in here. out Look at that. make sure we don't have anything i'm always worried there'll be like something i forgot to unpack and i'll throw that away Let's see but yeah there are the wheels these feel really good the rubber you can see push it in a little bit but it's not like an rc car they feel a little a little stronger than that and i think these are one time go on so get it right 
there's something about the people are talking about the pattern and the wheels, but it looks pretty pretty much the same to me. So I'm just gonna stick them on and then we can fix that later. So this is just kind of one of those like you know squeeze it on kind of things. Is that on? Huh. Okay. It doesn't go very deep. I thought it would like pop on like further. And that's it. That kind of that kind of sucks. The wobble there. That could be a lot better. But I guess it'll do. And then let's get you out of here. Put the other ones on here. Let's do that right down there. I guess it's on. And then this. Don't want to break it, but let's pop it on. Yeah, so it feels good. This stuff feels pretty strong, but I wouldn't want to break off these, um, you know, the rear view mirrors. I would just be careful of those. Here's the winch. It's pretty cool. Super loose. Like, just trying to roll it up. I guess it's got a little bit of friction, so it's holding. It's pretty neat. And then these kind of like tow hook things, you know, you'll get on a Jeep. And then I saw, you know, I got to get the grab rails and stuff like that, or those grab handles. We've got a Jeep and we've got the same thing, like kind of like aftermarket kind of stuff going on. And how do you open this up? Oh, yeah, there's the engine. So like a modern engine, you can't really see anything. It's just covered with a big plastic kind of cover. I mean, I guess it's supposed to, you know, approximate something so clutch can be working on it, which is pretty cool. And then where the shovel goes and stuff. So let's open up the other stuff and go from there. Okay, let's open up this little case box thing. It has everything else in it. Here's the useless whatever rules of playing with your toy. Lots of pieces in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, cool. So here is the machine gun. That looks pretty awesome. I don't have my Serpentor anymore. I sold him. But these look like they're probably the same as the um, the 50 caliber guns on, on Serpentor. Though these feel like a little cheaper. Like they're hollow. And maybe not as big. I mean, I'm just... I might not be remembering right, but I feel like those were were beefier than these. Um, but these look pretty cool. It looks really neat mounted. I wasn't super excited about them using kind of this old 50 caliber gun on the on the vamp. Because let me grab my uh, oh, where the heck is it? my other vamp, like the old school vamp, and you can see it's got more. Ooh, this is busted. Um, you know, it's got like a more futuristic kind of look. And it's got this cool kind of reciprocating action. Um, you know, this is a bigger toy. And it doesn't have any kind of function. Which I think is a missed opportunity. It would be cool if there was some kind of like movement in these. And if this was kind of a, you know, like its own kind of unique designed, especially for this kind of weapon system you know if you think of like modern modern kind of mounting systems they have some like really cool optical systems and targeting um you know stuff going on so that you could take an existing you know weapons platform and put it onto the system and then utilize it which is this but the fact that it doesn't have like optics or i don't know just like a little little something might be cool it looks like they tried to kind of i don't know it's got like a little bit of an homage with these fins on the back. I guess they're like cooling fins. Um, it's kind of neat that they did that. Um, but all in all, pretty cool. I would just like a play function, but you know, most people put this on their shelf and it will never get touched. So you know, it's probably fine. You know, 
what do we have in here? Wow, this is a lot of stuff. I'm just stuck in the bag. Let's get rid of this. So let's see what we've got. Got the two fuel tanks, and then these are those grab handles. And then we've got his weapon, which is pretty cool. Let's angle this down a little bit so you can see that better. Then light bars, that, that's pretty cool. A little more details. Here's the ammo or weapons. Oh, there's three light bars, okay. The shovel, axe, this helmet, man. They'll have to come out with a classified warthog, right? And, and then you could wear this when you're driving the warthog. Or I guess you could use this with the dragonfly. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's like space helmet kind of thing. Interesting. Um, yeah, and then all the little bits and bobs. Let's see if we can figure out where to put all this stuff. So let's see. This goes in here. Oh, I see. So people have been like, I saw somebody was having trouble with this. Like figuring out, you know, like if the the bullets go in this side, where do I put the canisters and that kind of thing? Um, I guess I'll just figure something out. I guess you can do it like upside down like this. That might be cool. That might work. Yeah, I think that, that works really well. Actually, I guess I don't see what the issue is. <laughs> I know some people will argue that like, oh, it only, you know, loads in from the, the right side or the left side or whatever. So this is unrealistic, but it's also G.I. Joe. So it's pretty cool. I think, oh, wow, that holds pretty good. I thought I might need to put some blue tack there. I probably will. Like something just to hold it, some hot glue. Or maybe I can jam it under there. Oh, yeah, you can. If you put it under there, it like shoves in there. And that's not going anywhere. Oh, it looks awesome. Perfect. Really cool. What is the uh what does the manual tell us? The manual tells us we should do it this way. Not to put it on that platform. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you not put it on the platform so that you can rotate with it? That's gotta be a mistake. That is really strange. It looks like it doesn't have the platform in the uh in the drawings. So I wouldn't go off that. All right, so this is ready to be installed. Let's start putting this stuff onto the um, onto the van. Okay, so let's mount this. So we just got a little hole there with a peg. And it looks like it just kind of goes on there and doesn't... Nothing to, like, keep it on there. And I guess you can just pose it. But definitely not designed for playability. This is more designed just to... Kind of pose it, you know, for your shelf or your photograph, I guess. Let's see, does this angle up? That's nice. Got a little bit of angling. Not a ton, but um, but that's cool. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't put the gas cans, I mean the, uh, the ammo cans, like on that shelf. It just looks like it was designed to do that. It works perfectly. And then let's see, we got the, uh, the shovel. So does it go this way? Seems good. And then this goes on here. This is nice that they've got different sizes, so you know which way to orient it. Not that way, but this way. Put that on there. And then there's some other little thingamajiggy. So this is, I guess, another callback. Whoops. This is my beater vamp, so this thing's broken. But, yeah, it looks like a callback to this. Don't know what that is, like an oil change thing, or you know, maybe it's some kind of like night vision driving assist kind of thing. I'm not sure, but it adds a little bit of like detail on the front, which is nice to see. And that is looking good. And this thing feels really good. I wish they didn't have the wobble though. I wish um those wheels seated a little bit better. That would have been nice. And then the windshield comes down, and then you can put these light bars on there. Now, when I saw them showing this off, it looked like these light bars interfered with the um, with the windshield going all the way up. 
So hopefully that's not the case. These just kind of pop on, but not that well. Let's check the instructions again and see what they say to do. So, okay, so the one light bar goes on the front. I'm here. Let's do that. That feels good. That's really secure. Nice. Okay. That is great. And then this one. Oops. How many times do we as kids drop a gun like that? And then it would like fall in here or you like you'd lose it and you'd like be clanking around inside your, your vehicle. Good times. All right, so let's put this on here. It doesn't feel like it's grabbing as well as the front one. Maybe I'm doing something wrong side to side. Like this, this one is really tight. This feels like not that great, but let's just, let's just move forward, get that done. Hmm. Okay, and then let's see if this does work. So it does, it does click, but those get in the way. It doesn't go all the way back. They needed to put more, more space here for this to go down. Is it like if you pop it in, it pops this out. I guess they didn't get around to fixing that or checking on that before they finish this guy off. Come on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, maybe it does. Maybe I didn't have them all the way on. That feels pretty good. So... I'd say that looks good. Man, adding all this gear too, it just adds more detail and it's looking uh, better and better. And again, it, like I can't get over how this, this it reminds me of like when I was a kid having those Tonka trucks that were made of steel. Um, and just the metal painted uh, Tonka trucks. Really feels good. These are in here. A little loose, but I guess that's okay. When we jump it later, we'll probably lose those. It's okay. And here are the uh, the handles that pop on here, which is kind of neat. I'm hoping that'll let us, like, put guys on the outside, you know, so they can ride on here. I just noticed no foot pegs on here. That's a bummer. I thought they would have the, uh, a foot peg so you can, you know, really put a guy on there. Maybe you can, like, slip their toe under there. It doesn't look like it. Um, but I guess that's why... These will come in handy um, if you want to have guys riding on the outside, which I think we all should. Let's go. All right. That looks good. Yeah, all these details just look really nice. Where does this go? All right, so the axe goes in the back. Well, that's neat. All these little, little additions are kind of neat, these tools. Feels like we're going overlanding. Anyone's familiar with that? Um, people just put so much stuff on their trucks. And uh, feels like this is kind of set for that. And where does this go? Um, hmm. All right, I'll come back to that. That's a question. And then the wrench goes in here. Clutch. Got his wrench. That's pretty neat. As a figure, he seems good. Fine. Let's put the other crazy space helmet on him. Clutch. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Man, I wish they'd made the design a little cooler. It feels almost like steampunk with those rivets and stuff. They maybe could have updated it. You know, looking at like some of the like, you know, like Halo or um, more modern kind of um, near future kind of armor as opposed to this kind of like rounded. This almost feels like something from Fallout, um, you know, like a retro kind of vibe. I don't think I'll be using this. Um, but this this helmet looks good. Really basic. I want to go look at the helmet that came with the Ram cycle. That one I always liked similar to this. I think that was big. Windows updates in the background. 
All right, cool. Let's uh, then let's get the get clutch in there and see how it um, it moves around. So get this out of the way, and then feed him through the top like we always used to do back in the day. And he fits in pretty good. And just like the old one, he can like barely see. Let's see. That's pretty good. It looks good. All right, I'll pose him and then we'll come back. So here we go. We've got Clutch in there, and it didn't take much work to get him um, posed in there. So I just put his shotgun into this little hole that's like kind of next to him. There's just like a hole there, and I guess that's made for his shotgun to go into. And then he does a nice job of gripping the wheel. And I bent his knees a little bit so he could get a little bit lower, but I don't think it mattered. I think he's pretty much good to go. And, uh, yeah, he sits in there nicely. Looks really good. Overall, the the toy looks fantastic. It's just all the different little details, this kind of like browns and grays, the way that the colors are mixed up. You know, a large toy like this would be would be very easy to just make it like monochrome, like like mostly green and then black in some areas. But but these little like inserts of, of color, um, they're not decals, but you know, just like the, the stickers, the, uh, I don't know if they silk screen it or how they get those on there, but the prints look so great, just like the original toys, you know, where you'd get all these kind of like, you know, don't step here, U.S. caution kind of thing. They really kept that going. Um, you know, like this being like a little black piece that had to be like, you know, glued on this being separate, this being separate black, the fenders being a different color, different material. This grating back here, you know, is really nice. And then these 50 cows are kind of like a, like a greenish gray as opposed to like a more black, um, you know, like the rest of it. And it just, it feels really good. It looks so good. Man. And it rolls pretty good. Still a little down on the wobbly wheels, but what are you going to do? Um... I thought of like tearing this apart and making an RC car. I kind of wish I'd gotten another one, but they're a little pricey. Maybe if they come around again, though, it, it might be cool. It would be really cool to make this remote control man at this size. But I'm just like not into the classified anymore. So I just don't have that, that desire, that drive to do it. But I don't know. Maybe I will. This is, this is pretty impressive. This has me really, really excited about about this toy but if i'm gonna have one one classified gi joe vehicle this is it just because it's so iconic so classic and this isn't too huge to put on the shelf you know it's not too gigantic um i don't know if i need any more you know dragonfly is going to be enormous so i would have no place to put that but this this will look good you know if i have a few of my classified um you know my collection for class five is pretty small. You know, put it next. To, I have the Ram cycle too, so. But yeah, you can see it's a great homage to the um, to the original. You know where, the original had the you know the hint that there was a winch, but you know we had to get our own string and paper clips and kind of work out our own kind of deal with that. Whereas this one comes with, you know, a real working winch, uh, which is really neat, really cool. They could always put more string on it, um, but that is really neat. The engine, the light bar, I'm glad that works. I think the, um, the 50 cals on top work really good. When I noticed this kind of like uh, air cooling kind of fin homage thing, it really made me appreciate what they were doing with this, with mounting these. Um, I still think there could be an optic system, but you know maybe they want to keep it kind of sleek like the original. And... Uh, these two just look great, great together. So let's uh, let's go roll it, maybe do some jumps and see how this thing uh, fares as a toy. Does it stick together, or bump apart, or all the pieces fall off? We'll see. Okay, we got the standard issue ramp made out of a pile of books. And look at that jump. Pretty nice. We lost some gas cans on the landing. 
Oh, that little vamp took a bad fall. I think the lip at the end of the ramp is a little too much for the, the smaller wheels. But again, the classified vamp does really nice. You can see the susp suspension work in there. Oh, came down in one wheel, but still kind of held together. And the tracking test kind of went pretty straight, just a little to the right. All right, here we can see the vamp next to the ram cycle. So let's put those side by side. You see those lined up. It looks like they're made of the same plastic. They both have that kind of green color, um, you know, dark green. But it looks like a good scale comparison. Here's the helmet I was talking about. I guess it is different. This helmet's nice because it's got like different color treatments on it, like different deco. Um, whereas the one Clutch has is, I guess, more like just a standard like soldier's kind of helmet. Um, you know, more just like a combat kind of helmet. But these look good together. I think that's pretty neat, good. Good updates, good like modern take on things. Firefly in here, because he's just awesome. Firefly is like the best. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll put some guys onto it and we'll see how they ride on the uh, the outside of the vamp. Let's just grab some guys to load into the vamp. Gung Ho, he's kind of big. Zuka, yeah. Oh, and Stalker would be cool. All right, this looks pretty awesome. So we got Gung Ho, um, his thighs, he just has like too much stuff to really fit in there, but, you know, kind of fits. And he's like a pretty big, big guy, so he's kind of looking through the light bar. Um, but then we got, you know, like two dudes riding on the outside, you know, got like, got Stalker and Outback kind of hanging on there. Um, and they look pretty good. I use a little blue tack on their toes just to keep them in place. Maybe I could hide that a little bit better back. I don't know if he needs it too much. But um, but I realized the original vamp didn't have rails for um for putting the guys on. So I don't know. I always thought guys could ride on the uh, on the side. I think I was thinking of the awe striker, which lets you do that better. So this is kind of an, an improvement over the original vamp. But it looks really good. And they're like hanging on there. You know, they're not going to fall off. Maybe we'll do a jump test with these guys, but uh, man, beautiful toy. Really, really knocked it out of the park. And I love the size of it because, you know, my, my classified collection is not that huge. Um, but I could see displaying a few pieces now with, um, you know, with this really as the center of the collection. You know, and I like that it's kind of like the OG, like original kind of piece, you know, along with the Ram cycle. So very, very cool. Very neat. Yeah, let's jump it and see who can. Who can hold on? Who can stay in their seat? Okay, I reworked the ramp, made it a little steeper. Let's see the approach. They're flying. Oh, Outback is flying with one hand, and he falls, and Stalker gets run over, and we lose the gas cans. Let's try again. One wheel landing, bounces around, windshield pops, and lose the gas cans, but everything looks good. Okay, the tests are complete. We did some jumps, did a whole bunch of jumps, and uh, everything looks good. Nothing is worse for wear. You know, maybe the, the little bit of suspension helped out. Those rubbery wheels might have helped. Um, yeah. Looks good. Looks fun. Rolls pretty good. Tracks a little bit to the right, but, you know, it's just a toy. Uh, pretty neat. Pretty awesome addition. Really excited about this. Um, really fun making this video. When you get a toy and you just want to, like, get it and play it and video it. It's, uh, make a video of you playing around with it. Um, it's really fun. So I'm sure we'll be doing some some more jump videos, maybe get it going down the slide in the back on the kids' jungle gym, see how far we could jump this thing. Don't want to break it. It's a pretty nice piece, but I think if we did break it, we could replace the suspension, replace, you know, the axles, maybe give it a solid axle. We'll see. Maybe we will make it RC. I don't know. Who knows? But great toy. Awesome addition to the collection for sure. Um, if you got one, Probably know how awesome it is already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun to watch. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, be yo Joe.